Hello again everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're actually still going to be looking at shirts from last year. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the 10 best shirts that I added to my collection last year. I added a total of 37. Most of those I bought, but some were kindly gifted to me throughout the year for various occasions. Uh, I found 10 that sort of, for me personally, stood out compared to the rest. Now, I don't like to think that I buy rubbish shirts, but it was a little bit difficult, and I used two categories to determine whether a shirt was better than some of the others. Uh, the first category was rarity, scarcity. So, say, for instance, the club come from the country that is a little bit difficult or a little bit different, then it sort of moves itself up the list. Now, of course, second is design. So, if the shirt looks good, well, of course, I'm going to rate it highly. Uh, and then the few shirts that maybe luckily were able to combine both those together, well, they're going to feature themselves at the top of the list, aren't they? So without further ado, let's jump into the 10 that I selected and take advantage of our new backdrop and see if this actually works. Enjoy! So in 10th place, we have this Pachos de Ferreira uh, home shirt from 2019-2020. So it's the season prior to the one that's currently ongoing. And I bought this one from Classic Football Shirts, sort of at middle of the year. It was once um, the sort of the first lockdown that we've experienced, it sort of finished. Uh, I felt a little bit more comfortable buying more football shirts. Uh, this one popped up for a very, very reasonable price. I don't think it was more than £22. And I added it quickly to the collection. The reason why this one features is partly because the club is slightly obscure. It's outside of the big three in Portugal, uh, and you've never, I've never really seen a shirt for this team for sale, certainly not a brand new one. Uh, I saw it from a few of the retailers over the season, and the price was quite high, but when Classic Football Shirts released it, I picked it up quickly. Uh, plus, the design is pretty nice. Joma, they make great shirts, nice little uh, polo neck collar, I am a big fan of yellow on football shirts, uh, and you throw in the green and you get a nice little piece. Um, this season, if you've missed out, this um, club is also again selling shirts em everywhere seemingly. So if you don't want to pay the full price, I wouldn't be too surprised if classic football shirts, sort of maybe June of this year, find themselves with uh, the 2021 shirt. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty decent place to start. So, in ninth place, we have this shirt from TAFC. So, this is a club based in Senegal, and of course, it was the first representation for that country. Now, that's the primary reason why this shirt features so highly, because it's quite difficult, certainly for someone based in the UK, to find football shirts for African teams, and certainly from countries that maybe are not as sort of um, obvious in, uh, in the continent. So I bought this from a fellow collector who um, sort of dropped me a message during, I think again, the first lockdown. Uh, firstly, he mentioned my website and says, hey, you've got a great website. You've got some good uh, sources going on there. Um, and from what I take from that, he was looking to find weird and unique shirts. Um, later on, maybe a couple months later, he goes, hey, I picked up a lot of shirts from these weird and wonderful countries. Would you be interested in buying some? Um, so I... Had a look through and of course he had some countries that I didn't have representation of and I slowly picked them up. This is one of those uh, and I'm very pleased with it. It's a, it's a uh, manufacturer I'd never heard of and to top it off it's sponsored by Planet Kebab which seemed to go down quite well on the Instagram but yeah I'm very happy with that and that's Senegal ticked off the list. In 8th place we have Jabli SC. Now I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly and I never will, but this one is uh, featuring in this list primarily because it's from a country that I really never anticipated owning a shirt from, or if I did, I expected to have to really, really work for it. It popped up for sale on Classic Football shirts, I want to say, again, during the middle of the year, and I instantly bought it. The reason for that? It's Syrian. Now, for those of us who sort of pay attention to any sort of news over the last sort of six or seven years, they clearly have been having internal conflict and troubles, and I, as far as I understand it, sort of football to some degree was suspended because of, well, war and fighting.
fighting and all that jazz. So the fact that I was able to find a shirt from a club from a relatively recent season, that was pretty impressive. It was also my first MBB manufactured football shirt. And in fact, I was able to pick up a second one of theirs over Christmas, uh, one of the Indonesian shirts, and it makes they make really great shirts. It's a shame because I think they don't exist anymore. I can't find anything on the website. And the last activity was 2018. Uh, shirts select from them, they do have like a tapered sort of cuff, so they're a bit tight. So if you're blessed with some muscles, you're going to be able to at least flash them or you ain't going to get the shirt on in the first place. Uh, the design is pretty cool, weird sort of effect across the front, little circular dotted effect on the shoulder. Very cool, another country ticked off. In seventh place we have the Chapacuense shirt that I picked up uh, towards the end of the year. It's the third shirt from 2019-2020. And the reason why this one features so highly is primarily down to design. I love the all-over print. Uh, I presume you would classify it as diamond effect. Uh, it's very difficult to tell sort of on camera, I guess, but you'll have to take my word for it. The uh, sublimation of the club logo, I guess, running across the shoulders is a very nice detail. But the thing that stood out for me the most, and you don't know until you actually have it in your hands, is the actual feel of the shirt. It's almost like silk. I've got over 300 football shirts, and I'm not certain I have any other shirt that feels like this. It feels like a really high quality premium material. I don't understand why they don't do this elsewhere. Uh, especially if you compare the Umbro shirt, this one, to like some of the ones from Africa, say for instance. Totally different shirts. But it's nice, it was cheap, and in fact, I think they still have it for sale on Eminem Direct. So for the price it's for sale, get the shirt. It's beautiful. I promise you, you won't regret it. In sixth place, we have this TP Mazembe shirt. It's the home shirt from 2020, and it is a beauty. Not only does it have this crazy sort of, I think it's an alligator style effect um, pattern across the shoulders and down the sides, it's also from a very rare and obscure country. Now. The team itself is probably one of the best teams in Africa, or at least historically, um, but this is the only team I've ever seen for sale in brand new condition from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, when I started um, uploading my shirts to Instagram, obviously commenting and just sort of building a profile to a certain degree, I was actually contacted by the club saying, hey guys, well, hello collector, um, we're going to be opening an online store if you're interested, we're going to be selling the shirt. So I was like, sure, great, I need your country. Um, it took longer than I think they anticipated. I, I think it was about 18 months and it eventually came online and it was the season before this and it didn't have a sponsor. I was like, sorry guys, but for me, I can't do it. And I wasn't certain it was tax. Following season came, picked up this bad boy, I got it from Classic football shirts. The price was about forty-five pounds, fifty pounds, or something like that. Um, and I'm pretty certain they still have some left. Um, but it's another country ticked off. Really cool design, cool manufacturer, great material. Decent. Well, we reached the top five. Um, in fifth place is this Yuen Long FC Home 2019-2020 shirt. For those of you who are unaware, Yuen Long are a football team based in Hong Kong, which is kind of cool. I wasn't really looking out for any Hong Konger football shirts, but when it appeared on Subside Sports, I instantly knew I had to buy it. Now, firstly, did it have my size? I think so. They're always a bit weird when they put Asian sizes and they convert to British sizes, and sometimes they just get it wrong. This one came a bit weird, sort of, but it actually ended up being just right. Um, but on top of the fact that it's from quite an obscure nation, I love the design. I'm a sucker of orange shirts. I mean, this Shakhtar. Well, maybe I'll tell you about this shirt another time. Um, but obviously, this is orange. That's orange, and I really like the Dutch shirts. So, you know, if you wanna, if you want me to buy one of your shirts, just release an orange one. I like the design. It's like a weird brushstroke zebra pattern. You've got these little vents down the side. All in all, it's just a really nice piece. Um, I wasn't expecting to see one from this country. But uh, yeah, another one ticked off. 
In fourth place, a shirt that I recently posted and I picked up um, actually directly from the club store is this Braga third shirt from the 2019-2020 season. It was one of the shirts that I saw doing the rounds on social media and people saying, oh my god, look at this shirt, it's horrific. How can they release this? Why would anybody buy this? And obviously, when I see something like that, I go, I want to buy this. Um, so it was one of those ones where I sort of paid attention for it slightly. For whatever reason, Braga shirts never seem to find themselves really for sale in the UK, um, which is kind of good now because I kind of hope that this one doesn't really appear because I want it for myself. Um, so I paid attention for it slightly. I kept looking at their store and the price didn't really drop. Um, it took a while actually for it to appear with the sponsor. Um, I thought, am I going to actually have to buy it without the sponsor? I mean, I do have a few shirts without them, but I obviously do prefer. Um, but when it sort of the 2020 2021 season started, the current season, I just checked their website just casually and I saw that this was um, on sale in the clearance. Had my size, still wasn't cheap, um, but I thought, let's just go for it, let's just buy it. Add to cart, purchase. Now I've got my uh, notification saying, yep, your transaction's gone through. But that was from PayPal, I got nothing from the club. Fast forward maybe two weeks, I had a parcel at the door and this was the shirt. Now the club is not exactly obscure, but the design is kind of crazy. I love it, I love the detailing, it feels definitely like armour plating. I mean, it's not stiff or anything, it's actually really nice material. But it's kind of cool. Um, in a year that I didn't really find too many outrageous designs, this one probably stood out the most. And um, I haven't seen many other people with it either, so very good. Top three, top three, and here we are with this Rail Batisse shirt. It's the third shirt, actually for the third shirt in the list of the 2019-2020 season. So we're getting a lot of shirts from that season. You know me, I'm not really interested in the older shirts. I do prefer the contemporary designs. Uh, there are two reasons why I bought this one. Firstly, because I like pink shirts. There's not that many floating around, but they always seems to, when they become for sale, wherever it may be, they get sold out quite quickly, especially for teams that are quite prominent or noticeable. Um, so when this became available, I knew I didn't really have long to buy it. Uh, and the second reason why I bought it was because it has the sponsor. Now, of course, I buy all shirts with sponsors, but for some reason, Real Batiste, they only seem to sell their shirts without a sponsor. And if you were to go on classic football shirts, you can find this shirt without the sponsor. Now, there's a place in Italy that sell football shirts. They are similar to classic football shirts, but they're an Italian branch. And I check it out every now and then. I say every now and then, like every day. Uh, and they've got a great selection. And this one popped up. And to be honest, at first I was looking at the home shirt. I thought, well, it's got the sponsor. I'll get the home one. But then I thought, no, wait a minute, it's pink. You've got to go for the pink. Now, I asked them if they have the tags, because sometimes, for whatever reason, the Kappa don't supply the tags. This one luckily did, and I added it to cart and bought it. The price was quite high, and the shipping was quite high, but it arrived, and it was everything I, uh, everything I wanted, really. Great material, really well put together, cool design. I love the sort of vertical offset. Pink is amazing, and has the sponsor. So the club is quite, quite prominent, but the design is beautiful. And I'm probably going to be buying a lot more pink shirts this season because they're just always a winner. It's only second. It's not first. But second's still good enough. It's, of course, the Corinthians third shirt from 2018-2019. The grail, the shirt that I probably spent most of my time trying to source and I was able to finally get it for Christmas of 2020. I had my mother and brother contribute all of their hard-earned money to get me this gift. And it's one of the best moments opening a football shirt. I finally have it in my hands. It's still available to buy on classic football shirts for £150 if you are a maniac like me. But it's beautiful. I love the gold. I love the design. I'm a F1 fan. Ayrton Senna, I like the little touch. Um, it's just one of those shirts that, for me personally, stands out.
some people may not necessarily think it's amazing, but it's one of those ones where I can finally sort of seal off the file and say I had it. So, number one, it's got to be something special, right? Can you imagine what it is? Can you think back of the shirts that we've seen? I think when you see it, it'll make sense. Here it is, number one. Couldn't really be anything else, could it? Certainly for the year of 2020. It's the COVID shirt. Torpedo Moscow away 2020. It's one of those shirts that sort of did the rounds when uh, the whole of the footballing world stopped and uh, this club started did a couple of pre, mid, post, whatever you would call it, season friendlies. Uh, and they removed the sponsor, the normal sponsor, and replaced it with the quite simple but powerful Stop COVID-19. Um, I never in my wildest dreams anticipated to actually own this, but classic football shirts, managed to grab a few, and uh, they put them for sale for £80, which was, you know, it's quite a lot of money. But I bought it instantly. I thought this is going to be a shirt that's going to be quite iconic in a couple of years' time. Um, as we stand in 2021, and I live in the UK, and we've just gone into our third lockdown, and it's you know quite a serious one again. Um, you know we're still going to be feeling the effects of this, probably as I do the review for 2021. But I couldn't see any other shirt topping this one. It's the most talked about topic of the year. You throw in the fact that the design of the shirt is beautiful. I like the tartan effect. It's manufactured by Macron. Really good quality. And it's Torpedo Moscow. It's a unique team. You don't see many Russian teams outside of Moscow for sale. So it's got all three things really. Design, obscurity, and meaning. And that's it. That is the best shirt for me personally for 2020. Hope you enjoyed seeing all these shirts again. Probably won't see them again. Maybe you will. Well, there we have it. We have the top 10, the top 10 shirts of 2020. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the new setup. Send me some feedback. I'm always uh, ready to listen to any improvements that I can make. I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, sort of watching 2020 and hopefully 2021 I grow even more. We're gonna get some good shirts this year. I mean, technically, if we're being really honest, I bought this shirt in 2020, and I bought this shirt in 2020, and I'm pretty certain this one would find itself towards the top end. So when I open this bad boy, we're going to start off really well. This one's first because I've had it the longest. This one's not as crazy, but it's still a nice shirt. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. It came for sale. Became for sale. What a terrible way to say that. Magic uh, plane crash that happened. He was the. Uh... Remember not to pull on that too hard. <laughs>